have a look on the another pyramid which has got a shape of a pentagon at the base of regular side lens with triangular faces, five triangular faces will be there, all these slant edges will be joined to the apex and we are going to name this as say A, B, C, D, E like this. Now, let us study about how to draw the projections of a pentagonal pyramid. Now, have a look on the problem. A pentagonal pyramid of side 20, 30 mm and axis 60 mm rests on HP with one of its base edges. This is important. It is resting with one of its base edges such that the triangular face containing that edge is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Draw its projections. Now, you observe this is a pentagonal pyramid. A 3D view has been shown here. A pentagonal pyramid will have five base edges like A, B, C, D, E have an axis O, O1 of height 65 mm. In this problem, since it is resting with one of its edges, keep that edge, whichever the edge you are going to consider to the right hand side. This is the base. Let us observe this with respect to the 2D drawing. Draw the x y line, mark this v p and h p, here we are going to draw the front view, in h p you are going to draw the top views. Since the edge, the triangular face is perpendicular to h p, keep the edge contained by that to the right hand side. I am going to first draw a regular pentagon by plotting the edge distance equal to 30 mm. I have named this as a b. Now, I know how to draw the pentagon sides of the pentagon. The exterior angle will be 72 degree. The interior angle will be 108 degrees. Mark this 72 degrees at the outside. Mark this length from here. From E, you draw an arc equal to the 30 mm length. C, draw an arc of length say 30 mm and mark that point as a D. Now, the regular pentagon has been constructed. Get the center of the axis by joining the medians. Now, you got the uh, from the draw this medians from the opposite side corner to the center of the side, opposite side. If you join like this, you are going to get the center of the axis. Now, mark the all the longitudinal or uh, longer edges. A O B O C O D O E O like this. This is the this is how you are going to construct a regular pentagon, keeping the edge perpendicular to x y line and to the right hand side, so that it solves a problem. Now draw the projections to the front view. Project it from all the corners. From all the corners, you are going to project it. Now mark the height. Height is given as 65 mm. Mark the center of the axis at the top which is called as apex or vertex. Now, join the lines from all the corners, name it. This is a corner a D, from here you can see it, C is seen, C is not seen, E is seen. So, E we are going to put it outside the bracket, the one which is not seen within the bracket and O1 it is at the center here, we cannot see it therefore, within the bracket. From this side, when you are observing, A is seen, B is not seen, so we are going to put it in bracket. Now, the first position has been marked or drawn. Now, in this case, he says that the edge, this is the slant edge, you just measure it, the slant edge, A O B O slant edge, keep this perpendicular to x y line that is what he says. So, first draw the length of this A O or B O and mark this vertical length. 
Then measure this length, take a compass with the A center, D as a, a, D as a radius, you draw an arc and take the length O D and cut this one, call that as say D and join the corner, reproduce this now in the third position mark all the edges or corners, you are reproducing it by keeping this slant edge vertical according to the given question. Now, draw the projectors from here down, corresponding horizontal points, A is coming here, I will look where it is, yes A is here, mark this point A, then B, now take an O here, apex O comes here, O from top it is coming here, you can observe it. Then D is coming here, it meets this vertical line O here, O 1. So, all these points have been marked. Now, draw the line from the top corner that is C, mark C. Similarly, mark the point E by drawing the horizontal line projector from E. Now, how to mark the thick and visible and invisible lines? The longest edge is here in this case is D O. This is the first condition that is you have to satisfy to draw the thick and visible and invisible lines. So, D O which is far away from this x y line and nearer to the observer, observer will be always at the top and always at the front here. So, first this is seen, mark this D O line by thick line. Then mark the second largest and longest lines that is E O C O, C O E O the longest lines, the next one. In the case of pyramid, we are this is the, these are the inch to be followed. Then mark the boundaries A, B, C, D, E, A is the boundary of this sketch. If at all any hidden lines are there, we have to mark it, we do not find any such corners. Therefore, this is the position for this inclination for making the slant edge vertical. Let us see that how to draw the next view where we have to keep the slant edge A O B parallel to x y line that is parallel to V P that is what the third condition says. Keep the slant edge which was made perpendicular to x y line that is to h p should be kept parallel to v p. Therefore, we are going to mark this length a o, redraw this figure once again here. So, mark this a d o d then afterwards mark all these distances and reproduce it. Join all the lines. You have reproduced this a diminished pentagon pyramid. Project from here to the front view from all the corners, draw one by one the lines from all the well first draw it from the apex mark O 1, then you are going to draw it from D mark G here, E O and from the axis the last point A B, you have marked all these points. Now, comes the which one is visible, which is not visible. The longest line which is away from this x y line is A O B O, they are the longest line. Though it looks very short here, it does not mean that it is a short edge, it is the slant edge. So, we are going to consider this A O B O is the longest line which is away from x y line. So, mark it thick. So, we are going to draw a line from A to O and from B to O, right. Then, you are going to draw the second longest lines that is O E, 
O C. They mark the boundaries. This is the boundary. Now, we got other two edges which is coming inside. Therefore, we are going to show it by thick dashes. C D is another base edge, D E is another base edge which comes inside. Therefore, we are going to draw it by thick dashes. You can observe one more longest line is there D O which is inside this boundary which is not seen because it is towards the x y line, it is away from the observer, observer will be always standing here. Mark that one also by dashes, thick dashes. The last part is join O O 1 which is axis. That is my final figure, you can mark the axis also here. This is one way of showing the figure. If I am not interested to keep this away from x n, I can rotate it, it is left to my discretion. Now, I observe the same for the same problem, the next sketch. I will keep this A O B close to x y line away from the observer. I will redraw all these things as I explained you earlier. Now, I will draw the projectors, draw the horizontal lines the correspond to meet the corresponding points. Now, we will introduce which is visible, which is not visible. Since it is towards us, I have rotated this towards me like this, means this has been rotated like this. Therefore, base is nearer to the observer and it is away from x y line. Let us mark the visible and invisible lines. The longest line away from x y line is d o. So, we have marked D O by thick line. The next we are going to mark the boundaries, base which is away from x y line by thick lines, because when I rotate this like this, like this, therefore, it is visible, this side is visible for me the base. So, I will mark this completely by thick line, then mark the boundaries that is E O and C O. The remaining edges are there that is B O and A O, which is not visible because it is inside. Therefore, we are going to mark it by thick dashes like this. And you can mark the axis here, the part from O to one, a part can be seen. This is the final figure you are going to view. This is the final projection of a solid when it is made kept with slant edge perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. You can either go with like this or you can go with the one what we showed earlier.